Mahal niyo ba talaga yung Pilipinas? Opo, Opo. mahal ko pang Pilipinas. Mr. Chair. Mayor Alice Goo, yung last sentence ng Lupang Inirang. Nang mamatay na dahil sa iyo? Nang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Totoo ba yan? Kilala mo ba si Michael Yang? Mr. Chair, hindi ko po kilala si Michael Yang. A Chinese national pretending to be a Filipino who happens to be the brother of Mr. Michael Yang and Hong Jing Yang, which is, uh, according to AMLAC, there is a uh, financial transaction with Miss Alice Go. And uh, looking forward, you will notice that the, the warehouse that was constructed in 2018, the same time that uh, Bamban and Porak were being constructed, nagsimula po sila dyan. At makikita po niyo na meron silang port na kung saan easily they can penetrate all the cargoes or the different um, goods that uh, entering the premises, dyan po nila pinadadaan. Mukhang matindi ang mga pasabog na ito ah. Alamin natin ang istorya. Ma'am Alice, uh, Ma'am Kasi, may tanong po ako sa inyo. Pilipino po ba talaga kayo? Uh, opo, Mr. Chair, Filipino po ako. Ikaw, Ma'am uh, Cassandra, Pilipina ka ba? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Mahal niyo ba talaga yung Pilipinas? Opo, Opo, mahal ko pang Pilipinas. Mr. Chair. Mayor Alice Goo, naging mayor ka po ng Bambantarlac. Every Monday, nagpa-flag racing kayo. Alam niyo ang kantahin yung lupang hinirang? Uh, Opo. Pwede mong, huwag mong ikanta yung last sentence ng lupang hinirang. Nang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo? Nang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Totoo ba yan? Uh, opo. Ba't mo kami pinapahirapan? Ba't nyo pinapahirapan yung Pilipinas? Hirap na, hirap na yung Pilipinas. Alam mo ba yun? Alam mo ba yun? Hirap na, hirap na po yung Pilipinas. Kaya tinanong kita kung mahal nyo po yung Pilipinas. Kami po, mahal namin yung bansa namin. Kung kayo'y Pilipino, dapat mahalin nyo rin yung bansa natin. Tinitingnan kita sa mata. Tinititigan kita sa mata. Ay to ay tayo. Kung sino yung matalo, yun yung hindi nagsasalita ng totoo. Diba? Hindi kita, titingnan kita talaga gamamaya. Pero may tanong ako sa'yo. Kilala mo ba si Michael Yang? Mr. Chair, hindi ko po kilala si Michael Yang. Kilala mo ba si Ong Jiang Yang? Mr. Chair, hindi ko rin pong kilala yung Ong Jiang Yang. Mayor Alice, dito sa research namin, si Ong Jiang Yang is one of the seven individuals whose assets were frozen by the Court of Appeals. In relation to the qualified trafficking investigation into the Banban, Tarlac, and it has been reported that accounts link Ong Jiang Yang with transaction amounting to 3.2 billion were used to finance Ong Sheng, a Pogo firm that was raided of its illegal activities and has close ties to Alice Goals of Bao Fu Land Development Incorporated. Naniniwala po kayo dito sa aming research? Uh, Mr. Chair, um, doon sa research nyo po, um, 
Wala pong pumasok sa akin na pera at uh, hindi ko po kilala yung sinabi niyo po ng Hong Jiang Yang. Uh, pero marami na po ako narinig po na ganun po na issue po about that. Well, naitanong ko to kasi the topic after this discussion, mayroon kaming matrix na papakita sa ataong bayan para makita natin yung real perspective yung real picture kung sino talaga ang nasa likod ng mga illegal activities dito sa ating bansa. Una, drug activities. Pangalawa, yung Pogo. Pangatlo, EJK, extrajudicial killing. Number four, lahat ng mga tiga China pumunta dito na mili ng libo-libong hektarya sa ating bansa. Ngayon, napakalaki nito. Alam mo, tumatawag sa akin ngayon. This is our next topic. I will uh, give to Chairman Dan the other question. Chairman Dan, uh, short thank you, uh, <coughs> Hello? Thank you, uh, SDS. No? Uh, for the information of the uh, body, no? um, a while ago, we were uh, discussing about the uh, Philippine Sanjia Steel uh, Corporation which was owned by a, uh, a Chinese national pretending to be a Filipino who happens to be the brother of Mr. Michael Yang and Hong Jing Yang, which is, uh, according to AMLAC, there is a uh, financial transaction with Miss Alice Go. And uh, looking forward, we have invited uh, the said person who owns the Philippine Sanjia Steel Corporation located in Cagayan de Oro City. Uh, we invite him to be a part of this discussion, not only because of uh, him being the brother of Mr. Michael Yang and Ho Jing Yang, but of course, his relation to the Alwana compound wherein the PNP inspected the alleged Pogo operation that was operating then before. Now, uh, it has reached to our knowledge that this brother of um, Ho Jing Yang, uh, of uh, Hong Ming Yang, who is uh, Michael Yang, and Hong Jing Yang, who is uh, being cited already in contempt, now is in the custody of the immigration. Because... Uh, Accordingly, siguro ilabas natin yung ano, kanina pinakita ko na po yun. Uh, ipakita nga natin yung passport. Ayan. If you remember, uh, Alice Go, uh, yan si, Hoji, yan si uh, Dian Sing Yang, na eldest brother ni Michael Yang, was already apprehended at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport a while ago. And um, his violation is in accordance with the immigration law. Uh, since uh, in his um, corporation that he filed at the SEC, can you kindly show the picture of the uh, Philippine uh, Sanjia Steel Corporation wherein he is the president. He owns a passport in the name of Antonio Lim. No, the other one. The uh, corporation. The corporation. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, that Antonio Lim, where his residence that was submitted to the SEC, Yakal Street, Kugman, Cagayan de Oro City, is the same person of the brother of Michael Yang in the name of Jing Yang, Jian Sing Yang, the older brother of Mr. Michael Yang. Now, what is his violation? Why he was apprehended in, uh, in the National, uh, interna national, uh, the, uh, international uh, Ninoy Aquino International Airport? Because of his violation of these laws in accordance with our immigration uh, Policies. Now, siguro, uh, Mr. Chairman, I will um, 
uh, brief ano yung ating pong mga members that yung 2000 yung mga businesses that uh, he is in into Mr. Uh, Tony Yang or um, si uh, Jian Sing Yang or Antonio Lim owns and started in 2000 he established the Yangtze Group Trade Company Incorporated which involved different importation and uh, these are the different companies that he owns and uh, in here the Yangtze Rice Mill Mr. Chairman medyo dito tayo medyo nag-worry because a lot of hundreds of millions of pesos enter in this Yangtze Rice Mill under the Golden Sun Cargo Examination Service Corporation which is owned also by the brother of Michael Yam in the name of uh, Tony Tony Yang. So basically, Mr. Chairman, hindi lamang po sa Pogo nagtatago yung ating mga Chinese personalities pretending to be Filipinos, but also in the different corporations. Like this, Sanjia Steel Corporation who have invested 800 million in the PBDEG Philippine Industrial uh, uh, Area wherein 22 hectares belong to us. He rented it out, the 22 hectares, where he put also a port, a warp, wherein doon po nagdadak yung mga ship na kung saan pinapasok po yung mga kargamento papunta po doon sa kanilang uh, Sanjia Steel Corporation. Now, siguro, pakita po natin yung uh, yung uh, Sanjia, yung mismong uh, warehouse. You will notice that the, the warehouse that was constructed in 2018, the same time that uh, Bamban and Porak were being constructed, nagsimula po sila dyan. At makikita po niyo na meron silang port na kung saan easily They can penetrate all the, car the, 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 the cargos or the different um, uh, goods that uh, entering the premises. Diyan po nila pinadadaan. Ang mabigat po dito, Mr. Chairman, is the uh, development plan that they have submitted in the city of Cagayan de Oro City. Can you kindly show the, uh, the, um, the ground floor plan, the second floor plan, the roof deck, and the third floor plan? You can see the plan that they have submitted. The plan that they have submitted for all those buildings that were constructed, huh? almost the same on those um, plan that was uh, constructed in Banban and in, and, uh, in Porak. Mga kwarto-kwarto wherein the POGO operation is being uh, uh, conducted. In here, Mr. Chairman, I'll be uh, showing as well the uh, different. Uh, no, no, I am. I'm not going to show to show the different financial uh, bank transaction wherein the different exchanges of money that involves those who are in the drug trade. We will withhold on the uh, showing of this uh, matrix. And I think um, the PAOK TF, kay, uh, Dr. Winston Casio, who is now with uh, Mr. Tony Yang, may have the uh, proper knowledge of expressing the whole and the totality of this uh, matrix. But in this matrix that we have seen, Mr. Chairman, I can see prominent personalities, prominent personalities that are involved in the drug trade. Most likely, all the drugs that entering our, some of those entering in our country pass through that port. Hiding in a legitimate business. But, of course, Mr. Chairman, it is just right and proper that uh, we have invited the incorporators of the Sanjia Steel Corporation last week. And uh, unfortunately, they have replied. And now that they are under the custody of the uh, immigration officers, 
then maybe Mr. Chairman, we can invite them over or uh, Mr. Tony Young, the brother of Michael Young, can be invited in this quad committee. Dahil itong taong to, Mr. Chairman, have been here since 1998 or 1997. He started his, uh, his business in 2000. So, basically, he know how to speak Tagalog. And uh, he, we, will, we will understand the way that he's speaking. So, Mr. Chairman, siguro for now, um, because he is under the custody of the immigration, we will be uh, refraining from um, talking about him for the meantime until such time that that person is here with us in this quad committee. Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank Mr. you, Chair. Congressman uh, Fernandez. Mr. Chair, can I just say something? Yes, uh, Congressman Abante. It means, Mr. Chair, according to the uh, manifestation of Congressman Dan Fernandez, that there is a real connection between Pogo and drugs, Mr. Chair. And that is what our people need to know, that there is a real connection here between Pogo and drugs and Chinese syndicate, Mr. Chair. I think it would be also good for Congressman Fernandez to yes. tell us of the Cavite Shabu uh, yes, uh, raid. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, yes, go ahead. Me, no? As a matter of fact, no, no, uh, Congressman uh, Abante, nag, nag, mag -start po sila, no, mag start po sila ng, uh, when they started the, the, the businesses, ano, yung smuggling ng uh, rice, vegetables, petroleum, yeah. and then, uh, yun nga, ginamit po nila yung PBDEG, they have uh, contracted a memorandum of understanding na kung saan yung 47 hectares will be converted. Gagawin pong uh, uh, yung kanilang uh, tinatawag na steel manufacturing corporation. But, you have to realize, Mr. Chairman, that ang laki po ng kanilang uh, ng, ng kanilang tinatawag na uh, na na kailangan pera para ma-develop po yung lugar pero yung kanilang uh, capital uh, um, capital outlay oh no no capital uh, paid up capital is only less than uh, 25 million so how can they put up a big facility like this di ba na ang kanilang paid up capital is only uh, below uh, the amount that they are constructing in that uh, in that area. So now, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I think uh, there was also there was also a uh, a uh, in 2021, si Yang, si Tony Yang was caught by elements of the PBDEG Inter Industrial Authority smuggling rice through the port in Sanjia. These are documented. It means, uh, Congressman Fernandez, na yung Golden Sun ang nagmamayari si Tony Yang, di ba? Yes, Ibig Tony sabihin, Yang. sila rin ang involved sa rice cartel dito sa Metro Manila. And yung pong Yang Tse Rice Mill, wherein hundreds of millions pass through their account, dito po nila dinadaan yung mga bigas. Kung pakikita natin lang, ayo, pakita na natin yung Yang Tse Rice Mill. Mr. Chairman, Yes, uh, Mr. Can Chair, I, interject? I just wanted to show the Yang Tse Rice okay, Mill, the... which is owned also by Tony Yang, wherein millions of pesos pass through their account, including those who are involved in the uh, drug trade. Sige. The name of no, no, Wen Chun Li, uh, uh, Michael Yang, lahat po yan andun po sa kanilang transaction. Andun talaga lahat ang kanilang mga okay. pangalan. At ang doon ang amount Ayan po, yung kanilang Yang Se Rice Mill. Na kung makikita nyo po, ang address nung uh, Yang Se Rice Mill is Alwana Business Park, Kagman, Cagayan de Oro City. At itong okay. Golden Sun, which is owned also by Tony Yang. Okay. So, basically, Mr. Chairman, napapagduktong-duktong na po natin yung ating matagal na pong uh, pinag-uusapan dito, two years ago pa, na nakikita po natin na talagang may koneksyon ng Pogo May koneksyon ng mga korporasyon, ng mga Chinese corporation. Rice cartel. At meron yung sa, sa drug cartel, meron sa rice cartel, rice cartel, and different kind of smuggling that is being perpetrated by that corporation, legitimized by those Chinese personalities that pretended to be Filipinos. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Okay. Chair. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, kaya pala kawawa ang mga farmers natin. Dahil sa Golden Sun na ito, 
puro imported rice na galing Vietnam ang nila pinapadala rito. At ang ating mga magasaka ay nagko-complain na na pinababayaan po sila dahilan sa imported rice na ito at kay Tony Yang pala ang Golden Sun, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Congressman Abante. Uh, Senior yeah. Deputy Speaker Gonzalez. Salamat, Mr. Chairman. Well, uh, t-share lang po. Uh, medyo mahaba-haba, pero mahaba na po tayo sa maghapon na to. Ito yung uh, pinaka-matrix para may idea lang po kayo. Si uh, Michael Yang, brother niya si Ong Jan Yang. Di ba po? Tapos, andito po si Alan Lim. Yung Alan Lim, siya po ang sa Xiongwei Technology. At yung wife po ni Alan Lim ay si Nono Lim. Ngayon po, dito po sa matrix na to, hindi ko lang po mapakita sa ating big screen. 